Have you ever wondered how our collective beliefs, ideas, and thoughts shape our society? This question is central to the sociology of knowledge, a branch of sociology that emerged in the early 20th century. The birth of this fascinating field can be traced back to the pioneering work of two key figures, Emile Durkheim and Karl Mannheim. Durkheim, a French sociologist, was one of the first to suggest that our collective beliefs and ideas, or our knowledge, are not merely reflections of the world as it is. Rather, he argued, they are shaped by the social structures and cultural norms that surround us. Meanwhile, across the Rhine, Karl Mannheim was also exploring similar ideas. Building on Durkheim's work, Mannheim developed a more comprehensive theory of the sociology of knowledge. He argued that all human knowledge, even our most basic perceptions of reality, is shaped by our social context. This means that our understanding of the world is not just individually constructed, but is a product of our shared experiences and interactions within society. Both Durkheim and Mannheim believed that by studying the sociology of knowledge, we can gain a better understanding of how societies function and evolve. They saw this field as a lens through which we can examine the ways in which our collective beliefs and ideas shape our understanding of reality, and in turn, how this understanding shapes our society. These early thinkers sparked a revolution in the social sciences. Their theories challenged the assumption that knowledge is purely objective, highlighting instead how it is profoundly influenced by our social context. This was a radical shift in thinking that forever changed the way we approach the study of society and human behavior. In the years that followed, the sociology of knowledge continued to develop, drawing on the work of these pioneering theorists and incorporating insights from other disciplines. Their ideas have inspired generations of sociologists, who have continued to explore the intricate relationship between knowledge and society. This school of thought set the stage for a deeper exploration into how knowledge shapes society, which we will delve into next. From its inception, the sociology of knowledge has evolved and broadened, hasn't it? Let's delve into this journey. In its early days, the sociology of knowledge was primarily concerned with collective beliefs. The focus was on the collective mind, the shared beliefs and ideas that shaped societies and cultures. It was about uncovering the universal truths that held societies together, the common threads that ran through different cultures. But as time moved forward, the study of sociology of knowledge began to shift. It started to examine individual beliefs and the role of power in shaping knowledge. The focus became less about the collective mind and more about the individual mind and its role in creating and shaping knowledge. This shift was greatly influenced by the work of prominent theorists like Michel Foucault and Pierre Bourdieu. Foucault, for example, introduced the concept of power knowledge, arguing that power is not just something that is held over individuals, but something that is produced through knowledge. Bourdieu, on the other hand, developed the concept of cultural capital. He argued that knowledge is not just a product of the mind but also a form of social power. The more cultural capital an individual has, the more power they have to shape the world around them. These theorists, among others, shifted the focus of the sociology of knowledge from a purely collective perspective to a more individualistic one. They emphasized the role of power in shaping knowledge and highlighted the impact of individual beliefs on society. This evolution was not a linear process but rather a dynamic one full of debates and challenges. It reflected the changing social and cultural landscapes, the shifting power dynamics, and the evolving understanding of the human mind. This evolution has led to a more nuanced understanding of how knowledge is produced and disseminated in society, which we will go on to explore. So how does the sociology of knowledge apply to our modern society? Today's world is an intricate web of information a labyrinth of knowledge that is continually evolving and shaping our collective consciousness. The sociology of knowledge, with its focus on how our social world influences our understanding and interpretation of facts and realities, plays a significant role in this contemporary landscape. In the age of the internet, where information is just a click away, the sociology of knowledge becomes even more essential. The internet, along with social media platforms, has become a significant player in shaping our collective beliefs. It provides a platform for the exchange of ideas, a marketplace if you will, where concepts are bought, sold, and traded. But as with any market, there are those who peddle falsehoods, and those who buy into them. This is where the role of media comes into play. In our modern society, the media is a powerful institution that shapes our knowledge. 
It has the power to present, interpret, and even manipulate information. The media can shape public opinion, influence behavior, and even define social norms. But it's important to remember that media is not an independent entity. It is a product of our society, reflecting and reinforcing the beliefs, values, and biases inherent in our social structures. This brings us to the importance of critical thinking in our modern society. In a world saturated with information it is essential to decipher truth from bias. Critical thinking enables us to question, analyze and evaluate the information we receive. It allows us to see beyond the surface, to understand the underlying social structures that shape our knowledge. In this way, the sociology of knowledge offers us a lens through which we can understand and navigate our modern world. It helps us to recognize the social forces at work, shaping our understanding of reality. It allows us to question, to think critically, and to seek truth amidst the noise. As we can see, the sociology of knowledge continues to be a relevant and powerful tool in understanding our society. Where is the sociology of knowledge heading in the future? This question invites us to envision the path of this fascinating discipline as it continues to evolve. Let's delve into some potential future directions for the sociology of knowledge, a field that's as dynamic as the world it seeks to understand. One significant area poised for exploration is the intersection of sociology of knowledge with artificial intelligence and algorithms. As AI systems become increasingly sophisticated, they're playing a larger role in shaping our knowledge and beliefs. Think about how algorithms curate the news we consume or the social media posts we see. They determine not just what information we encounter, but also how we perceive the world. The sociology of knowledge can provide critical insights into the societal implications of these technological advancements. The rise of AI also brings up questions about the nature of knowledge itself. Can a machine truly know something? What does it mean for our understanding of knowledge if an algorithm can predict our preferences or behavior? These are the kind of questions that future sociologists of knowledge may grapple with. Another potential direction for the field is greater integration with other disciplines. The sociology of knowledge has always been inherently interdisciplinary, drawing on philosophy, anthropology, psychology, and more. This trend is likely to continue and even intensify. For example, we could see more collaboration between sociologists of knowledge and data scientists as they work together to understand how big data is transforming our society. Or there could be increased interaction with cognitive science as we strive to comprehend how our brains process the flood of information in the digital age. The future of sociology of knowledge is not set in stone. It will be shaped by the questions we ask, the technologies we develop, and the societal changes we experience. But one thing is certain. The future of sociology of knowledge promises to be as exciting and thought-provoking as its past. So let's keep exploring questioning and learning together. In our coverage of this topic, we've journeyed through a century of thought about how our knowledge shapes society. We began with the inception of the sociology of knowledge a remarkable field that emerged in the early 20th century. We've delved into the contributions of pioneering theorists like Karl Mannheim and Emile Durkheim, who championed the idea that our understanding of the world is not merely a product of objective facts, but is significantly influenced by the societal context in which we exist. We then traced the evolution of this discipline, exploring the ways it has expanded and morphed over the decades. We've seen how the sociology of knowledge has moved beyond the realm of philosophy to become a crucial component of the social sciences, shedding light on the intricate ways in which our social structures, ideologies, and cultural norms shape the knowledge we produce and consume. Next, we ventured into the modern-day applications of the sociology of knowledge. We've examined how this field helps us to decipher the complexities of our contemporary society, from understanding the impacts of media and technology to unraveling the dynamics of power and inequality. We've also highlighted the significance of this discipline in illuminating the ways in which our collective beliefs and understanding influence our actions and institutions. Looking forward, we speculated on the future directions of the sociology of knowledge. We envisioned a world where this field continues to evolve, fostering a deeper understanding of the interplay between knowledge and society, and facilitating more equitable and informed societies. In understanding the sociology of knowledge, we gain crucial insight into how our beliefs shape our world. It's an ongoing journey, and every one of us plays a part in it. As we continue to delve deeper and challenge our understanding, we contribute to the evolution of this fascinating discipline. So let's keep exploring, questioning, and understanding, 
Because our knowledge is not just a reflection of our society, it's an active participant in shaping it. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and comment. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to keep up with the latest content.